I think the, I think the point she's trying to make, though, is that the pop that that by allowing you to do that on Saturdays, even before the policy change last year, was still a violation of library policy. The Saturday and Sunday rule has been in place for a very long time, mm -hmm. and I think members of the administration were not aware that the Southside Library had been allowing the use of the building um, outside Saturday. outside the parameters of this policy. It's so, understanding. So when you're saying you're punished, no, sir. It, I think it's just that when the staff became aware that that staff at the Southside Library was operating outside the parameters of the policy, I think that must have been when you were notified. But that so, policy's been in place for a very long time. They just simply chose to ignore it. So Southside was operating outside of yes. the limits of the policy. Yes. And then you uh, called them to question and, and to make sure right. that uh, they operated according to policy. Now, what we're asking you to do today is reconsider right. your policy. Right, we understand that. What so, hours were y'all looking for after hours to accommodate those who work? My uh, group is, uh, it meets the first Saturday morning at 8 o'clock from normally 8 o'clock to 9. Every once in a while we extend to maybe 9.30, but I mean it's normally so Saturday like morning. Saturday morning. That's the first Saturday. 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 Saturday